So you just got weight loss surgery or bariatric surgery and you live far away from where the surgery was performed, how soon can you travel? These are very important questions that some uh, patients have and I'm going to briefly go over the answers and help you prevent it and help you travel safely. Hi, this is Dr. Beltre from Beltre Bariatrics. Uh, welcome to our YouTube channel. Thank you for, for tuning in. I'm gonna talk about today about a question that comes up all the time. My patients ask me all the time, and I'm sure all the bariatric surgeons that ask the same thing. How soon can I travel after surgery? You know, I have patients that come from far away from Florida. Florida is a big state. They come from near states, they come from across the country. And that's one of the things that comes up. Some patients still go to Mexico, for example, to have surgery. The question is, how soon can you travel after your uh, weight loss procedure? First of all, let, let's talk about why. Why are we asking these questions, right? Why are we are concerned how soon you're gonna travel after any uh, weight loss procedure? It is for one thing and one thing mainly, okay? It's blood clots, right? Soon after surgery, you can form blood clots or DVT, deep venous thrombosis that can form in your legs. Most of the time they stay in your legs. They stay there, your leg gets swollen, you get treated with medicine that makes it dissolve. But sometimes it can break off, go to your lungs, and it can be uh, a fatal uh, condition. Blood clots form when you're sitting for long periods of time. So if you are traveling, for example, in an airplane, sitting for hours, or in a car, you can form blood clots. So this is the reason why we ask, you know, how soon can I travel after a surgical procedure to prevent these blood clots? And then the answer is depends on the surgery, right? If you had open, big, open abdominal surgery, which I do not do, you expect it to wait one to two weeks before you travel. But this is large, open surgery open heart surgery, open abdominal surgery. We do laparoscopic surgery. My bariatric procedures are done laparoscopically and bariatric procedures are done laparoscopically across the United States. I think close to 100% of bariatric surgeons in the U.S. do their procedures laparoscopically. With laparoscopic surgery, however, meaning that it's small incisions through special camera, special instrumentations, we don't have big open incisions, it's 24 to 48 hours that you can actually travel. Normally, what I tell my patient is, I expect to stay after the surgery about three days, three to four days. And my patients do stage three to four days, some stay even longer, so that we are past the period 24, 48 hours, and I know it's very safe for them uh, to travel. However, there are certain things that I have my patients do, and make sure they do them before they travel. Number one, they're gonna be wearing their TET. TET are these special socks that go up to your knees, right? These, these compression socks that help prevent uh, blood clots. Number two, walking. I tell them, be very active, whether you are traveling by airplane or by, by car, be very active. In fact, if you're traveling by car, if you are only two, three hours away, I don't have a problem with that. If it's longer, I ask them to stop every two, three hours and walk 10, 15 minutes. If it's in an airplane, try to get up and walk as much as you can, exercise your legs and things like that. So staying very active, very important. Hydration, on the way there, sip, 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 you know the time, staying very, very well hydrated to prevent, help prevent any blood clots. Because remember, hydration fluids keeps your blood thinner, right? It can flow better, it's not as thick. If you dehydrate it, your blood becomes thicker and of, of course, it's much easier for you to form blood clots. And uh, finally, of course, two days later, 48 hours later, I, just, I start all my patients on a medicine called Eloquist. Eloquist, it's a blood thinner, prevents uh, blood clots. I normally give it to my patient for four weeks, however. Why four weeks? Well, because after any surgical procedure, believe it or not, the risk of blood clots do not go down to normal until about four weeks after uh, the surgery. So we put you on Eloquist. So before you go traveling, I make sure that you started this, this, uh, on, on these medications. And with that, uh, thank God, I haven't had any issues with my patient traveling on airplanes after surgery and getting blood clots if they follow these instructions. There are conditions that make you more prone to forming blood clots. Surgery, of course, any type of surgical procedure, especially orthopedic procedures that make you immobile, not moving around. Knee surgery, hip surgery, where you have to be in bed for long periods of time that can make you prone. Smoking, pregnancy, 
even after giving birth, up to three months after giving birth, a woman is still uh, may be prone to forming blood clots. Cancer treatment, if you are on the chemotherapy for any type of cancer, that can make you prone to forming blood clots. Family history, there are individuals that have family history, some types of protein deficiencies that can exist in certain families that can make you prone to blood clots. The other conditions that can cause it, of course, is obesity. Obesity and blood clots are, are very, uh, we know that obesity, it's a very, it's a factor that can make you prone to forming blood clots. Two other conditions is varicose veins that can make you prone to forming blood clots and hormonal treatment, right? Birth control pills, very well known to cause blood clots or any type of hormonal treatment in male or female can make you prone to uh, blood clots. I hope this was helpful to you guys. I hope you learned something. You answered your question as to when to travel after surgery and what conditions makes you prone to, to forming blood clots and what, what you can do to prevent them. Thank you for tuning in. Again, this is Dr. Beltry from uh, Beltry uh, Bariatrics. Thank you.